All right, I have my paper. I have some glue, I have my scissors. So I have my paper going in the landscape direction, which means the wide way. And the first thing we need to do is start with a basic fold. So my hands are going to the short edges. So there's long edges and short edges. Short edges get matched up. I'm using my table to line up the edges. Once they're lined up, I hold my paper down and I crease. I'm giving it some good creases where I push pretty hard. Now I need to figure out which side is the crease side and which side is the opening. So this side, if I pick it up and I'm trying to open it, that's the crease because it doesn't open. The other side, if I split the paper apart, opens. So I want the creased edge. So here's my creased edge. On the other side is the opening. Opening is facing away from me. Opening, crease. Opening, crease. All right, we're drawing on the crease side. You don't have to draw this, but I'm going to just so you can see what I'm doing. There's the middle. I scooch over a little bit, and I'm drawing a line that kind of goes a third of the way up the paper. Scooch over the opposite way and draw another straight line. Now I'm going to pull out my scissors and I'm going to make two cuts on those lines. One, two. Okay, so now I'm going to take that middle and it's like it's a doggy door. The doggy door is going to fold open and I'm going to crease it. Now the doggy door is up and I'm going to bring it back down. Flip my paper over and now I'm going to invert that fold. I'm going to fold it the opposite way, I mean. Fold it the opposite way, crease it, fold it back down. Now, I'm going to open my paper. I'm going to set it up like it's a laptop in front of me. My fingers go underneath the middle and I pull it out. Now I'm going to start to close the paper and I'm still kind of holding on to that tab until I can close it all the way. So if you need help, re, uh, rewind this video a little bit and watch that part again and again until you really need to. But now I have this little square inverted, so it's popping into the middle now. So that little part that I pointed to, that one square, that's the square we can add glue to. So just as an example, a quick example, I'm going to add some glue to it. And I have made a triangle that looks like a little tree and I'm gluing it to the uh, back of it, but I don't want my paper to go down too far. It should line up with the bottom, pinching it so that my glue starts to set. And once I feel like it's set, see I'm not gluing anything to the top, it's only glued to the side. Once it's set, I can close it and open it, and ta-da, a pop-up. The fun part about these pop-ups is that you can glue anything to that little step that we cut out. So you can cut out different things to be glued down and here are some examples. So this person who created this pop-up created that basic step that I showed you. They cut out another piece of paper what they would like to glue down and they glued it to that front side of the step. Then they added a background and they used different colors of paper to create their card. So let's take a look at some other examples. This little cutie card was made by making two steps. So instead of making two cuts, the person made four. So with that being said, they cut out two different objects to glue to their steps, and that is what created their card. So pay attention to some of the things that they chose to glue and what they did with their background, and it turned out to be a lovely card. Here's two more examples of this basic step cutout where they glued two different things to their card. So this process is really simple. Just cut the step and then glue whatever you want to the front of it. Some of these people glue an extra piece of paper to the back, but everything's easy squeezy.